I was really hoping that she turns out to be a goddamn outfit character. Now, see, see, this is my dilemma. She's now, she is now a character, which means we'll be seeing all five, the five other Zodiac characters as a limit, as a seasonal slash limited character now, which fuck sucks ass. So yeah, that, that's the one thing I really didn't want. I was really hoping this was just a, you know, when she, we, we saw her in the, in the event and shit, I was really hoping she just turns out to be a goddamn uh, outfit, because I would definitely buy that shit, because she looks fucking... Oh, right? <laughs> but yeah, from what I can see, now now we have to expect Zodiac seasonals, man. Oh my god. And I really hope she just doesn't appear in Lake Fest. I just hope that she's just a standard typical... Uh, summer character or some shit like that, like the rest of them, right? So it's a lot easier for us to like at least get her compared to like the you know the usual zodiac where it's only Lake Fest in specific Lake Fest or whatever. It better not be like that. <laughs> hey yo, how's it going, boys? What is up, stars? Back once again for another character impressions, and this time we have Summer Anira. Yes. Summer Anira. We get uh, let's uh, take a a moment to uh Oh I lost <laughs> Cause uh, that's what everyone's that's that's basically a majority of the people's reaction when they saw her in the event, right? Let's all be honest here. <clears throat> okay. So Summer Anira is now win, she's not fire. She's now win, she has 1400 HP, she has 89, 90 attack, and she's a special star, special star? Yeah, he's a star. She's a special styled character. She's still a Dorof with massive tits, yes, we all know that. She's still a spear and a melee user, yes. Okay. So her Ogi is flock to the future. Hmm. Massive win damage to a foe, next, first initiation, ini Initia yeah, initiation. Affects all allies. Ends cooldown for first initiation. Okay. All of creation. Literally the same as her first skill. 6 hit to all elemental damage to all foes. Hit to all elemental defense. Literally the same thing as a Zodiac version. Just minus the, the echo and shit that she provides in her original version. Okay. Then her first initiation, second skill is called provides triple attacks and stamina. What does this look like? Fucking Grand John. Is that just me? It looks exactly the same as Grand John. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, now mind. So the cooldown is six turns, right? Yeah, this two will be six turns. Okay. Uh third, sc third skill is Puffy Summer Towers. Uh Bonus superior elemental damage effect to an ally and dodge all attacks from foes one time. Cooldowns at 7 turns. Last for 3 turns. So support skills passive is Sunny Summer Ship Shift. Bonus wind damage effect to wind allies triple attack. What the fuck is literally Grand John? <laughs> all season fashion. When wind allies are not debuffed, boost to attack. When win allies, uh, allies are debuffed, boost to defense. Okay, so according to wiki here, it says that this is 10% echo. And then the attack here is, it's a unique modifier. Her passive is a unique modifier, 10% boost to attack. When a debuff, you get 30% boost to defense. Sure, boost to all allies' multi-attack is a spear, it's an axe. Isn't this a fucking spear though? <laughs> how, how is this an axe? This clearly doesn't... <laughs> this looks like something you pierce with, not... <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind, okay. Medium boost to win allies' attack, medium boost to triple attack, slight chance... Yup, shit, okay. I don't have to see that any further. It's absolute shit, okay. Okay, because... Just because that she looks so much like fucking Grand John, we have to compare her with that, right? <laughs> There's no doubt about that. I have to fucking compare her with that now. She looks so much I almost fucking identical. 
It's just slightly different. Okay, let me, and anyway, let's just go to her EMP first, okay? All right, so her EMP is... Okay, so she has two attack, one crit, skill cap, charge bargain, earth damage down, stamina, triple attack. The fuck you need triple attack when this... You know, it's like... Uh, you're triple attacking so hard, you know? Like, we have already been memeing lately on stream. You know, the character triple attacks so hard, it breaks the boundaries that it triples attack again. See, that's, that's how it works, man. And yeah, we're talking about win here. Multi-attack issues on win. <laughs> Ooh, yikes, man. The biggest, the biggest, the, the same thing is literally her Ogi and her second skill. Same thing as Grand John. It's the same. <laughs> it's literal copy pasta. Copy pasta is like, dude, we ran out of fucking ideas. What the fuck should we do, man? Yikes. How brain dead is this? It's literal copy pasta, man. And yeah, this thing is the same too. My, she doesn't have this. I honestly think this is much better though. <laughs> but this is the same. 10% echo. She has 10% echo too. And the only other extra is that she has this. When... Honestly, I think this is much better. <laughs> Because this gives more like damage consistency, right? As long as like win a uh, light at um well elemental attack up, right? She gives extra thirty percent boost to that. But this one is just like ten percent unique modifier. Sure, it's just, but it's just ten percent though, right? It's not like elemental boost to like fifty percent or whatever shit. <laughs> and not to mention, like I feel like what uh a summer. Uh, Anira is also missing is that she only gives extra 30% echo and dodge while Grand Jan provides all allies crit damage cap and this this is like a mini assassin basically she has this the only other difference is that well this is 7 turns this is it radius in 5 turns and then yeah but she can reduce this cooldown right for every tri triple attack she does so technically, it's not really 16 turns, right? So, I guess the most you probably reduce to is like 12, 10 turns. Hey, it's just, honestly, it's not too bad. Hey, if you really want to reduce that shit, that's always Kirin, right? <laughs> and then not to mention her first skill is literal copy of her original, the original one, just minus a few things, which is the 20% echo and, wait, 40% echo, and it becomes... Lesser hits. And it's... Is this single target? No, it's not. It's, it's all foes. So it's basically... Yeah, it's the same. It does this. Right? Go away. It's just defend down. Mi minus the attack down. So... It's almost the same without the echo and the attack down. It's not even that painful too. 600k. Yeah, it's actually slightly lower. And... Lesser hits, right? Because this is 6 hits, because 6 elements. This one is 6 times 2, because you get attack down as well. So that's 12 hits, right? Yeah. So it gets 12 hits with somewhat higher of a cap. But yeah, the only difference is that her echo is not to herself. She can take, she can just like taking the echo, putting it on someone else with dodge. I don't know, she feels like a very scuffed version of Grand John though, that's the thing. <laughs> Like, I even feel like even Grand Jun's S1 is way better, though. <laughs> the only difference is that her S1 is... I mean, the difference between the Grand Jun's S1 and uh, Anira's S1 is that this one works more, like, for raid Y kind of shit. So it's technically better. This one is, like, local shit. So it only works for yourself. So it doesn't work for others. So here's what I think, okay? Here's what I think. If you want to be a... If you want to be a team play player, you use her. <laughs> If you want to be a, a team, you know, just, just be a team player, helping out the raid, you use her, yeah? You just use her. And well, we are talking about different elements too, but you know. <laughs> but it looks, it looks almost identical. It looks almost like, it's like 80% the same. <laughs> okay, well, the, diff the other main difference is also her, her, her EMP is different as well. I mean, and, and this thing, I honestly think this thing is so fucking meme too, if you think about it though. <laughs> You know? Because like, as only 
only if you're debuffed. <laughs> and most of the time, you try to not keep yourself debuffed, right? This is only if... You know, the other main thing, if you want to have like insta... In insta uh, proc of this, right? You need to have monkey in your team. Because monkey is automatically debuffing your team already. Plus healing yourself to full, and... Well, she's in win now, right? So, you have monkey, and then you put her in there. She, she can activate this defense thing if you need extra defense. If not, you always have attack up. Right? More or less. <laughs> you know? <laughs> because uh, monkey debuffs twice as well. And usually you want to clear at least once because defend down fucking hurts, right? <laughs> and you really don't want to have that. The, the debuff resistance down can... You can kind of negate it a little bit. But yeah. So at least if you really want to have the defense up, yeah, you just do that, I guess. I mean, I don't really know what else to say about her, though. Because she looks like... Almost like Grand Chun, but not... <laughs> and, and this is win we are talking about? I feel like... Okay. So, here's the thing. The only thing I feel like you can really just make use of her, like, say... Just put it in like a meta point of view, right? For like, you know, top tier kind of shit, right? The only thing you, you would really just make use of is this shit or this shit. That's it. <laughs> like, when it comes to meta stuff, you don't even really need shit like this. <laughs> no, and not to mention in order for you to get this up to like, you know, you want to do like bursty stuff, right? In order for you to do this, right? She needs to Ogi first, right? In order for this to be like, you know, on your entire team, right? Because at first, if you press this, it only applies to herself, right? It's not to her, everyone. She needs this Ram Rondo buff in order for you to cast this and allow it to affect all of your members. Uh, I mean, I don't know, man. Because like, you know, when it comes to like really, really good win characters, she is not one of them, and not to mention she's also like... Well, she's limited, right? I guess you just use her for her outfit, I guess. <laughs> Good outfit, right? I mean, look at her. God damn. You have Kubira in the back as well, see? Two for one, man. God damn. Mm -mm. <laughs> Cause, you know, it's because like, seriously, like... You have so many, like, OP win characters, right? Like, seriously, Grimnir. Both Grimnirs are great. Monkey. You know? And then you have, uh... Monica. <laughs> Lucia sometimes for bursty setups, right? And then yeah, the Grim the other Grim near. Okay, the, the summer one sucks though. <laughs> the summer the summer one sucks, so okay now maybe just ignore that. <laughs> then yeah, you have like yeah, you have fucking Meteon here. Meteon is fucking godly as well. Okay, we ignore this guy. <laughs> he doesn't exist. He's just there for veil, okay? <laughs> oh 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 right. Uh, right, we have Christina now man. That's right. Fucking top tier, man. 50% echo. Yeah, fucking suck my dick, man. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, we have fucking Gachapini here, man. Top tier shit right there. God, fuck. Dude, and not to mention, right, Katsila is kind of like... Katsila is so, like, situational as well, too. I feel like in most in most scenarios, you would want to use Sleepy Potato instead when it comes to, like, invokers for win. And then, yeah, you have, like, yeah, you have Siete. Neo is still kind of used to a certain extent too because of her S4. Her S4 is great. You know, when you want to do like the super, you know, like whatever Rune Slayer setup or some shit. Yeah, you want to do that? Yeah. You know, you can do that. But like, yeah, you see like fucking win is so stacked, right? When it comes to like really, really good characters, you know, like this guy. So it's like, it's so hard to like fit her into in there when it, you know, when it, when it comes to like this kind of skill set, it feels very, you know, eh? It's like, you know, maybe in specific burst setups, you could actually just use her. You know, maybe like, for example, like, uh, you just use her for this and this. Just like I said earlier, you just use it for this too and call it a day. Bam, done. You know? <laughs> it's like, this too is like, eh, who gives a shit, you know? <laughs> you're, you're really just using her just for this too, really. You just put this on like, I don't know, like fucking... Uh, uh, you know Valentine Grimnir or some other character that had, that rec that that does a lot of oops that's a that that does a lot of damage that does a lot of hits or whatever shit to add more hits stuff like that. I don't know if you really want to do that. Sure, I suppose. Then you add extra echo for this one, right? That's it. I feel like she that that's why it's like 
That's why, like, a lot of people, whenever they ask, like, is this a good banner to, like, spark and shit? No, I wouldn't say so. You should wait a little bit longer. Because my guess is that uh, when it comes to, like, sparking, most of the time, the real good character... It's more like, if you ask me, right, when it comes to good characters, it has already been released, rather. Like, the, the ones have released so far for Summer. Fucking Summer Lucio and Summer K Kolulu. Those are good characters. This one, probably not. This one, you definitely want to just use her for the sake of... Uh, you know? See? Uh, yeah. Just that, really. <laughs> Seriously, it's just, you're just using her just for the sake of that. Like, you're just using her freaking outfit. Like, other than that, I feel like you don't really want to use her at all. So, with all that said, she's going to be under situational for me. Very, very situational. Very situational. She's not even that great when it comes to, like, those stuff. It's like, yeah, even though I may rate Grand Jean relatively high, you have to keep in mind, she's, in the element, she's also in the element that uh, helps a lot when it comes to this kind of shit. It's very, very different on specific elements and you have to also remember she provides fucking assassin so and she provides way more other shit instead of just this too <laughs> you know because for all i know the other problem she ha she also provides is yeah it's just fucking 10 percent man 10 percent unique attack is kind of like eh you know if okay if this turns out to be 30 percent right if this is actually 30 percent I take most of my sh almost of the sh stuff I mentioned about her back, because thirty percent or at least twenty to thirty percent unique attack up. Permanent. Now that shit is fucking insane. Ten percent is like kind of like. You can feel like it's not even fucking there, man. <laughs> like holy shit, <laughs> the the only the only time you think this is actually good. Is when you're like a rank 150 pleb or some shit. Yeah, if you're in that in you're in that scenario, then yeah, you you can probably make use of this. But but fuck man, if this is much higher, then yeah, even you plebs will probably even feel like it's gonna be much is much better for you, right? The fuck you want 10% for? Just use like Grimnir or something, or like Monkey, like uh, yeah, like those Meteon or whatever shit. If you actually did already uh ticket them, because you can technically ticket them, right? But you know, yeah, so she's very, oh my god, <laughs> she's very yikes, good, good skin, very situational, and yeah, her buffs are very, very, very mediocre, so I wouldn't really suggest you to spark this, especially if you're in a, in a very, um, what is that, uh, limited situation, you know, when it comes to like, you know, if you're not like the super whaler kind, yeah, you should really save your spark first because I really think the next flash is probably going to have a very very strong character as well because you have to remember the next flash in August that is also when Summer Alex was released so uh who knows right we get a really strong character there because most of the time whenever they it's like the last fight like one of the final final uh summer characters they're releasing for the year tends to be really really good right so because even like if you think back right like uh like if you go back to the summer one like you go under release date right okay where is it yeah you go under the release date right see summer alex and summer alex summer alex is the last one right and then before that is anturia and i i wouldn't even say anturia is that freaking bad either anturia is actually not bad right so you can see right you should say you should wait a little bit longer, or if not, if you really, really just want to get her just for the sake of, uh, just for just for the sake of the costume and whatever shit. If you're that kind of person, who who am I to judge, right? If you're that kind of person, by all means, go ahead. It's your it's your spark funds, right? <laughs> why why should I care? It's your freaking spark funds. Oh no, he said that. Oh my god, dislike. <laughs> Ew, Mr. Streamer, so rude. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, <laughs> that's what I think about uh, Summer Anira. She's she's very situational. You just get her for the sake of her outfit. Anyway, hopefully you find that helpful. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. Uh, drop by the stream, cause uh, 
if you're wondering why have I not really been streaming, I mean, uh, streaming, uh, making videos all too much for YouTube because I've just been streaming every single day and uh, most of the time we tend to do like a 8 hour plus stream. Yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys again next time. LOL! <laughs> yeah. Cringe. Yikes. Okay. <laughs>